Hey everyone, I'm Abby Schmid and I'm an environmental educator here at Duke Farms. Um, today we are going to be walking through the steps of how to make a spotted lanternfly circle trap. So in front of me I have all the materials that you'll need to make one at home. That includes two gallon water or milk jugs, some scissors, some waterproof tape, two rubber bands, a Ziploc bag, a piece of wire, some twine, and also some plastic coated screen material. You're also going to need some thumbtacks and a stapler. First we're going to start off with our gallon jugs and we're going to cut the jugs just around the top and the goal is to really create a funnel. And we're going to do this two times on both of the jugs the same exact way. Doesn't have to be pretty. So here is one end of the funnel. Okay, and again, we're gonna cut the excess off. And there are some containers that I have tried this with where the handle kind of comes right up to where the funnel part is and it doesn't really work because some of the handles are big enough where they can fit through there so these i've had the best luck with so now what we're going to do we have both sides of our funnel we're going to put it together to create kind of like one large funnel and there is a flat side to both of these and we're going to try to keep those together this is the side that's going to actually go onto the tree and then we're going to take a piece of our weatherproof tape. Maybe a little easier with the second person, but it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. And then kind of just squish the tape on, make sure it's really secure because this part is going to be on the tree for the whole time that your trap is up throughout most of the year so we need to make sure that this is really secure and then there's your funnel with the flat side together now that the funnel is made we are going to next take our screen material and we're gonna hold it long ways and we're gonna attach it to the funnel. So we want to make sure that the flat side of the funnel is on the inside part of the mesh, meaning that the two ends of the mesh are connecting on the side of the funnel that protrudes outwards. So now we're gonna staple all along the mesh. That's gonna give it some support. And then we're gonna glue this down to the top of the funnel. Okay, so now that our screen material is aligned, we're gonna staple as close to the funnel as we can. And just continue stapling. With the least amount of gaps, that you can make. As you saw, my staples weren't perfect, but they were pretty close together and that gives it some support. For a little bit more support, we're gonna add some glue right along the edge of the screen where the funnel ends. Um, and that's just gonna really keep everything kind of intact. So I'm just gonna hold the screen kind of taut underneath. And I'm just gonna rub the hot glue in between the squares of the screen to really get it to stick. 
So that was one side. Let me do the other side. That's that. So we're just gonna let that dry. Now that our screen is stapled and glued, we're gonna add just one last um, layer of support, which is gonna be this rubber band. I'm just gonna wrap it around twice. And you wanna make sure that the screen is actually in here and you're not just going around the funnel. So the screen's kind of coming out the top a little bit and we can see that it's pretty secure. Next, what we're gonna do is add, we're gonna weave this piece of wire through this front part of the trap. And that again is gonna give it some structure and hold it out. And when we show this to you actually on a tree, it's gonna make a lot more sense. Um, this step you probably don't have to do, but it is good to do to give it some extra support. So what I like to do is find the center of my wire and then start weaving it through. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a handful of times it can weave through. And this is a little bit thicker wire. This is 18 gauge, but 16 gauge will work probably a little easier. And then once you get to the end, you can just kind of pinch it so that it's not gonna come through. And again, once you get to the end, you're just gonna press it upwards so that that wire stays in the screen. So once the wire is in, you can really see more of how it gives the trap some structure. And then there's just one last thing to do, which is add the Ziploc bag on top. So this is a 2.5 gallon Ziploc. So you just need to really unzip it enough so you can fit the top of the funnel in. And then re-zip it closed so it's tight. And again, just to give it um, some more support to make sure the bag doesn't come off if something happens where this kind of like comes undone and all the lantern flies fall out, that's not gonna be fun for anyone. So we're just gonna add another big rubber band. And just like when we did that with the screen material, you wanna make sure that you're cap really capturing the material of the bag within the rubber band. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to actually put up or install the trap onto a tree. So like I said earlier, there is this flat side of the trap that is going to lay against the tree. From here, you are going to grab a piece of string or twine just to kind of tie it up. And finally, you're going to take some thumbtacks and just stick a few through the screen into the tree. And on trees that have deep grooves like this, you kind of want to try to get the thumbtack into those sections because the goal is to get the spotted lantern flies to walk up the screen and eventually into the funnel and then get caught in the bag. So you don't have to add a ton of thumbtacks, but if you do have a groovy kind of tree, 
You just want to make sure you get it taut into those spots. And in a case like this, where the screen doesn't fully cover the back of the tree, you could either A, cut your screen material a little bit bigger to make sure it covers the circumference of the tree, or you can make a second trap and place it on the back of the tree. So thank you everyone for watching. This is how you make a DIY spotted lanternfly circle trap. I hope that you share this information with your friends, your families, your coworkers, your neighbors. Really important that we start spreading this information about the spotted lanternfly, um, how to capture them and hopefully manage their populations. This bad boy can fit so many spotted lantern flies in it. <laughs>